A horizontal sextant angle is the angle subtended at the vessel by two shore objects. It is observed by holding the sextant horizontally, moving the arm so that the reflected image of one object is seen on the second object. The position line produced is a range or distance off. If we find angles between three objects, the position fixed is one of the most accurate. Great care must be taken when you match the landmarks you are seeing with the landmarks on the chart. If you are using mountain peaks, take care to identify them correctly. Try and find landmarks that are around the same elevation. The objects can be anywhere from 20 degrees or so to 100 degrees or so apart. Check and adjust the index error. The details are covered in a separate lesson. Set the sextant to 0 degrees 0 minutes, and hold it horizontally with the right hand, roughly parallel to the shoreline with the mirror on the top, and look straight toward target, L, on the left. It should appear just above the center of the mirror. With the left hand, slide the index arm away from you slowly, watching the shoreline and the mirror move to the right in the mirror. The idea here is to bring the center of the other landmark, M, into view in the mirror just below the center of mark L unless you are very lucky, mark M, will not appear in the mirror without a slight adjustment of the angle of the sextant relative to the horizon. That is, if you hold it perfectly parallel to the shoreline, you will not see mark, M, appear, but just the shoreline below it or terrain or sky above it. So this crucial step is to rotate, or rock, the sextant slightly till you see mark, M, or some part of the shoreline near mark, M, that informs you which way you have to go, more to the right or more to the left. Once you have them both in sight, L, in the direct view, M, in the mirror below it, Carefully adjust the index arm until they are precisely lined up, and then read and record the sextant scale for your answer, the horizontal angle between, L, and, M. Repeat this for another pair of objects, if available. Draw a line between the two landmarks. If the angle measured by the sextant horizontally is less than 90 degrees then subtract the angle from 90 degrees to get the construction angle. If the angle is greater than 90 degrees then you subtract 90 degrees to get the construction angle. Use a protractor to plot the construction angle from the baseline, making sure you put them on the both side of the baseline. Extend the lines from the construction angle. Where they meet, is the center of the position circle. Draw a position circle using your drawing compass. With the sharp end on the top of the triangle and the circle passing through both landmarks, your boat is somewhere on this circle. The angle between the center of the light on a coastal feature's height and the waterline can be measured using a navigational instrument called a sextant. This vertical sextant angle can then be used to find the distance off by entering the pre-calculated VSA tables or by trigonometry. The range can be used as a danger bearing. Together with a compass bearing one object with known elevation results in a position fix. If more than one vertical sextant angle is combined the optimum angular spread should be maintained. Great care must be taken when you match the landmarks you are seeing with the landmarks on the chart. If you are using mountain peaks, take care to identify them correctly. Distance by vertical angle of the object if the height of the object is known. If the height of the object is known and short horizon visible. The problem of determination of distance from a vertical angle can be solved by a simple right triangle. In this simple case, the impact of the dip of the short horizon and the height of the observer's eye will not be taken into account. We have the vertical angle, alpha, and the height of the object, hotel, so we can find the distance to the object. A more accurate line of position by vertical angle requires that the height of the observer and the dip of the short horizon be taken into consideration. The vertical angle is alpha, big, h, is the height of the object and small, h, is the observer's height of a. We now consider the dip of the short horizon and the dip of the sea horizon to find the true dip. The distance to the object can be calculated by the following equation. The distance to the object is found as follows. 1. Subtract the height of i from the height of the object. 2. Add the observed angle and the dip of the short horizon. 3. Divide 1 by 2 and 4, multiply it all by 1.86. Similarly, 
a distance lop can be obtained by using a sextant to measure the angle of arc between for instance the light and chart datum of a lighthouse or any other structure of known elevation. Once the angle is corrected for index error the distance can be found in a table called, Distances by Vertical Sextant Angle.